And now at five, a former Cohasset Middle School teacher says once again he did not assault any students. Today he appeared in court to face five new felony counts. WBZ's Bill Shields is live in Cohasset with the very latest on this story tonight. Bill. Dave and Paula, those charges obviously are based here in Cohasset, but WBZ has learned now that investigators are looking into four other school districts where Jeffrey Knight worked before he came here. He was a trusted teacher at Cohasset Middle School. The last summer, a 14-year-old girl said Jeffrey Knight rubbed up against her in a sexual way on several occasions. Now, a second girl, also one of his students, says Knight did the same thing to her several years ago. While the defendant was instructing the class, he was also simultaneously rubbing up against the student multiple times. On the new charges, Knight is facing five counts of a decent assault and battery on a person under 14. But his attorney downplays the charges. That said, my client maintains that he is not guilty and is not uh, inappropriately touched any student ever. Jeffrey Knight worked at several other South Shore schools before coming to Cohasset. And when DCF investigated the Cohasset allegations, the agency found not only Knight responsible, but also Principal Carolyn Connolly had been negligent. You can imagine the reaction of parents. The headlines every, every day are uh, very, very disappointing. About that DCF investigation, Knight's defense counsel said in open court today that the original charges were investigated by DCF and found them unsubstantiated. Reporting live from Cohasset, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Now